Did you, did you say he got up at five in the morning? Oh! He's on our schedule, guys. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Five in the morning. You guys got to bed at five in the afternoon. <laughs> she doesn't ask you now. I want to bed at he's becoming, old, he's becoming an old timer here. What? Oh, I'm getting up at five in the morning. He's, he's an AARP candidate. You get, you get out there, Gino, you see the sun come up, you hear the birds chirping. It's a lovely time of the day. It was actually. It was beautiful. <laughs> You know, put on a hundred mile stuff, his first coffee at seven. <laughs> okay, we got the cleanup hitter, Roberts, the pitcher up. Get a chance. What time to is uh, what time is Harry's game? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. I see Harry there over the bench. Harry's having a ball over that bench he here. He's going up and down, talking to all the players. The players are talking to him. He loves it. And Harry may become the good luck charm. He'll be at all the baseball games, Gino. Yeah. <laughs> Will's working on a three to nothing lead on, with a seven and two record. So uh, they're uh, getting themselves uh, set for uh, the postseason here, Dennis. Yeah, they're pretty close now. Going along at this pace, uh, not only do you get postseason, but you get, uh, get a home game. We'll be there. We will we'll be at the uh, Gino TV. All, any home uh, postseason games. Ground ball foul right into the air. Uh, yeah, all the players are sitting on, on buckets. Buckets. <laughs> <laughs> the bucket brigade over there. Nobody's behind the uh, Nobody's the fence. sitting on the bench. No. And Roberts draws the first, first base runner for the Vineyard. So the, is that right? That's the first one? So the perfect game is broken up. The no hitter is still intact. So 12 up, 12 down, but the 13th batter, the unlucky 13, gets on. So we got Wiley up. Wiley struck out his first time up. And we got strike one. So with the walk. As we said, the perfect game is broken up, but the no-hitter is still intact. And more important, the shutout. That's the most important stat. Keep, keep Vineyard shut out and you get the victory. And there's a bunt in the air. Her career oh. cannot get there. Also, like a swinging bunt. Yeah. I don't know if he was doing it on purpose or he just decided to check up halfway through. You know what I'm going to get? Well, when we're done, what are you gonna some get? Chowder, some chowder, hot chowder. I am freezing. Get over to the uh, seagull and get yourself some chowder. There you go. <laughs> okay, here we go. How about that uh, sign up in Boston that's getting a lot of publicity the last couple of I days? I was just thinking of it. I saw it yesterday coming over. Turn your blinker on. Did no, you see no. it? No. No. Use your blinker. Use your blinker, Use right. your blinker, not turn it on. Use your blinker. Okay. With a Boston accent, spelled out Blinka, B L I N K A H. Use in the Yav is spelled Y A H. Use your Blinka. But it, it's saying it's getting too much publicity. Ground it, ball, back to the pitch. Get one. Oh, no, oh, he dropped it. Everybody is safe. Yeah, they got in each other's way. <coughs> oh. It went into a uh, raised glove, I thought. All right, Davini's got something going here, Dick. Yeah. Costanza, number 22, the third baseman for Davini, also struck out. And so we got men on first and second, nobody out. And that was, Could uh, be a bunt situation here. That was near Tucker's uh, first miscue. Let's we'll see how the Whalers play it. Uh, third baseman's still pretty deep. They're not playing bunt right now. Yeah. No. So that didn't even go to the transfer rule there. Yeah. No, it did <laughs> not. An out and out drop. Still is. No, the third base coach is calling. Let's see. Let's see if he's gonna gonna drop it down. 
And the Nantucket coach is... That was a tailor-made double play. Yeah. They, they don't get any better than that in high school. All right. With the bunt off, uh, they send Cimitaro back deep. Behind, playing behind the runner. Instead of, instead of holding him. And we got he a strike. There. Two strikes on the bat. Ferrer's got his uh, off-speed stuff working there. Took a lot off on that one. On so the, the big one. thing here is Cardoza for the Vineyard needs to put that ball in play somehow. Ferrer needs, strike out. He, he strike Ferrer needs out. a strikeout. He, he, he got it. Strike out. Big, that. big, huge strikeout there. So you get the one out, nobody advances. Santos rubbish removal, we clean up the islands. Go Will is Santos. And remember, you can read about this and all the other weekly action. action. The Will is in the Inquirer Mirror, Nantucket's newspaper since 1821, offering Nantucket's news, information, and sports. The Inquirer and Mirror covers it all. Were you there in 1821, Dick? I was here in 1821. I actually. There's a line oh, shot in the right field. Game. And that's going to play the run. Mahoney it's, jumps on the first pitch. So there's the first uh, hit of the game and the first run of the game. And as of now, that run is unearned. Okay, so now we have runners on first and third. And I say one as, run in. One run in. As I say, as of now, it's unearned. Yeah. It could become earned because you could not say that ground ball back to Ferreira would have gotten a double play. But you could, you, you know, you got the, the one run there. He, it becomes a, it would become a earned run if if Vinny keeps this rally going. So we got one out. Runners on first and third. Ba ball two. Right now, Ferreira's in his first trouble of the game. Fifth inning, Vineyard's break, broken through here with a walk, an error, and a hit, getting one run in. And there's a shot, base hit. And that's another run in. <coughs> and the, now the Whalers are coming on glued here, throwing the ball away a little bit. So the so left fielder bobbled it, the runner went to third, and then the run went by, so that becomes an error on the overthrow, allowing the runner to go from first to second. So now we got a three to two game. Oh, runners boy. on first and third, again, still one out. Oh, second and third, he went down. Sec to, oh, second and third. He went down to second on the throw, that's, that was the error. Oh, that's a... When the error, when the throw went by the e third baseman. E, e five. When the, by went by the, when the throw went by the third baseman there, that allowed the runner to go from first to second, resulting in the error. Oh, man! There you go, baby. That's going to tie. Ooh, we got a close one here. Oh! He yeah. got him! What a play! What a throw wow. by the right fielder! What on the fly. Run. Where is he? There he is. On the fly. Who's that? Leibowitz? Leibowitz. Yeah. On the fly. And I thought that the runner wasn't going to get back for the tag. He'd get back for the tag. Leibowitz just fired it all the way in there. A great wow. catch by the uh, catcher and, and applying the tag. And the, the uh, umpire is talking to the coach. Gino, he's got another question there on something. I don't understand what he would be questioning Perfect here. Perfect throw. I don't, I don't, I couldn't, under, I can't understand what he's questioning. All right, we've played uh, four and a half, Nantucket three, Vineyard two. Whoa. All right. All right, the will is uh, coming up here, Dennis. They need to answer. Who do we have up in the lineup? Uh, well, Leibowitz. Oh, there it is. That home there run it is. I was talking about. There it is. Leibowitz. Oh. Leibowitz. Wow. Wow, Leibowitz is doing it all around the park today. <laughs> He saved the run and adds on a run. And that's what Gino's been looking for, clearing the fence. And we're up to two home runs, Dennis. <laughs> Gino's uh, in front right now, but one more, and, and little Dickie gets involved. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dennis is still there, though. Dennis is still here. Yeah. All right, so Leibowitz uh, makes wow. a big throw, and as often, as often happens, well, he I leads off the inning and then comes up with the big hit. Well, I, I didn't have a chance to say that. 
the, the, the old saying in baseball, and one of my favorite is, the guy who makes the big play in the field comes up the lead off the next inning, and before I had it out of my mouth, I could say it, That's he amazing. hits it over the fence. Okay, so that was a big run, too. It puts the wheels ahead, 4-2. And as Gino said, all you have to do is get the ball up in the air today and it's going to take a ride. And we saw it There's there. the bunt. It could be fun. Nice bunt. Safe. Yeah. All right, Dylan O'Connor with the bunt. Base hit. Third baseman playing way back there. He just drops it down there and uses his speed. <coughs> uh, Dylan uh, has uh, stolen one base already today. I think you'll see him going down again here. Well, if I was a vineyard Coach. catcher, I'd call for the Coach. pitch out. Coming back over towards us here. And uh, I'd call Dylan, for, I'd Dylan call is for expected, the pitch out. Dylan is expected to, uh, to run here, and, that's, and we'll see how the vineyard plays it. There he goes. Yeah. There he got it. He got it. You give him a stolen base because he was running, even though the pitch becomes uh, a wild pitch. Wild pitch. No, you, you have to give him the stolen base, though. He earns stolen the stolen base because he was running. The, the pitcher saves himself a wild pitch because uh, he was oh. running. Okay, so we got nobody out. And Riley Frazaro up for the third time. He's hit into that double play. Six to three, three to five in the first inning, and uh, Cade. So he's 0 for two. The wheel is threatening again. And there's a fly ball oh, another deep. Another big hit. It's over oh, his head. Oh, it could be another one, Dick. <laughs> this could it be could number be three. It. This is it. This could be number three. It is going to be. This could be it number three. Be. And we're at the over number mark. <laughs> we're at the over number mark. Three home runs in this one. So Dennis is out of it. He took the under. Now I, I think Gino's going to win now. Yes, he is. <laughs> Gino called, took the over. Third home run by the Whalers. Yeah, yeah, two run shot. Wow. Now I thought you guys were saying we're going to get out of here. Are well, you talking about over the fence? Over the fence. Anyway, two we RBIs. Over the fence. We'll put an asterisk next to the three and we'll keep the one alive for Dennis. <laughs> That's all right. I don't mind. And here's another home run hitter right here, Will Ferreira, first inning. Put the wheels on top, one to nothing. <laughs> so the wheel is into the vineyard. And all of a sudden, put a three six spot six on the board. Six to two. Vineyard puts two. Wheel is answer with a three spot. The inning is still alive. I don't think we have any. We have no outs. Yeah. No, the hope is not mine. Gino's got the bucket out here. I'm trying to figure I've out. I've got G it ready. If it comes over this. Gino way. is. Uh, I'm a little concerned. <coughs> I'm a little nervous about the ball coming this way. Protecting my hosts. You're you're concerned about protecting the camera. <laughs> <laughs> your hosts are on your own. <laughs> That you guys bucket, take your hats off. If that catch bucket comes, <laughs> Gino's going to put the bucket on his head. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, he's, a, like an ostrich. He's going to protect the camera. Like an ostrich. <laughs> let's, let's do it over under on the camera. <laughs> on the ball coming towards the bucket. We've been lucky so far. <laughs> we have had no foul. To Walks as good as a double. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Walks as good as a double. Have you ever heard that one before? No. no. Not, not exact, that exact wordage. Ferreira means, takes a base on balls in the inning. That means the uh, Wilders will be uh, running. Although Ferreira's the pitcher. He may not be running. No, I, I wouldn't. No, they got the lead. Yeah, we might be changing pitches. Girls lacrosse uh, getting ready to stop behind us. They were supposed to have an 11 o'clock start. It's already oh, about 11.30. They're going to be starting late. And we're going to have a new pitcher. Robinson's, Can he continue to play? 
Oh, of course. If they take him out of the game, no. Well, That's no, what they, mean. They, they could put him in another. They could position. put him in a oh, fielding well. position. They could put him in a fielding position, so and they may be because uh, he's looking. He might be looking for a glove here. Oh, okay. Yeah, the first baseman went out to the outfield, Gino. So he may be going. He may be getting another glove going at the first, unless they're going to get oh. another first baseman going. Well, yeah, because he's. Uh, I, I would think he would be because he no, hits pretty high up in the order. Oh, they're changing. No, look like they are changing. Number 17. Seventeen's going in at what, third base? And the pitcher is going in at first base, so. Oh, we had a vineyard, we had a, a girls game today, too. Girls across game, yeah. That's, that's, but the 11 o'clock game is not starting tonight, wow. so good thing we didn't do the 11 o'clock exactly. game. It's starting 11.35ish. And who is that against? Girls across today is against Bridgewater Raynham. Tough opponent. Bridgewater Raynham is a good cross team. Okay, Gallagher, lefty, is, is going to be the pitcher. And the pitcher was going to. Where'd you say? First, first base on come on, so he's going to first base. Roberts is going to first base. Yeah, I don't know why he went out and talked to the shot stop, but he did. And Mahoney remains at third. The first baseman, I think, I don't know who came out of the game, but some, somebody went out to the outfield. Like that. All right, here we go. Where was Roberts playing before? Right Roberts here? was the pitcher. Uh, uh, who's the f number four? What's his name? Number four. Four is Gallagher. And where was he playing before? Right field. So he comes in from right field. The first baseman goes out to right field. So they made a three. It's a pop up a straight up in the air and it's going to be out of play. They made a three way swap. Right fielder comes in the pitch. Pitcher goes to first. First goes to right field. All right, the wheel is uh, using the long ball today. Three dingers. Three dingers. But only one over the fence. Which was the prediction that you prediction. guys had. <laughs> We're putting a little <laughs> asterisk next to it. Yeah, you and your asterisks. <laughs> Ferreira moves. And that ball is going to be out of play. Goes over the line, dead ball. They might get a run on that. Andrew they might Ray. get a run on that. Second base. Second base. He was going second to third. He should get home. I'm just going to hold him at He's third. I'm just going to hold him at third. I thought with the dead ball, would get the extra base. Oh boy. <laughs> and there's still no outs. Like, okay. He's gonna qu he's gonna question it. No. The Rondo was going from first to second. He hadn't reached second, so Rondo was saying that he only gets to third. stop at third and not keep coming. Okay, we got the first, second, and third. Still nobody out. And Holgate the batter. The six bottom of the fifth inning. Six to two, nobody out. The Oilers could put this one away here with a Yeah, they really could. Ooh, that gets part of the catcher. Yeah. Catcher got whack with that one. Yeah. Right, right in the right in the leg, upper leg. It's been if he didn't get it on the uh, the film. And that would have been an infield fly route anyway. No. Runner on second, third. No runner on first. 
bases, second and third. So uh, are you sure don't about you that? Don't argue with Dick about that. Sure about that. The infield fly rule, less than two outs. No, okay, all right, yeah, less okay. Less than two yeah. outs, yep. runners on first and second, bases loaded, no, first and third. third. got to have the runner on first. And there's the bunt. Suicide. And nobody covering first. Oh. He throws it anyways. I hope Harry was watching that. So you get a sacrifice. A you get a sacrifice uh, bunt. And I guess you got to give him a base hit. You gave right? base hit, my friend. Will Forever comes in with the seventh wheel of run. Any outs? No, one out. One out. So the pitcher, the pitcher charged and had the ball, and for some reason, the, the first baseman, who's right now, a former he, pitcher, he charges also, and I. I don't see him charging in that situation. Fundamentals. Matt Correa to bat him. And the second baseman doesn't come over to cover because it's not the bunt play. The, the, the bunt play is not on where he has to cover first for the first baseman. So, you know, you got two of them falling asleep, the first baseman and the second baseman. Yeah, they, they definitely fall asleep. All right. Now they throw through. Ooh. <coughs> That's why you cover. So you get the uh, the stolen base there. The throw did come through, Dennis, but they weren't throwing to get the stole the runner. They were throwing to Good. catch the runner off third, coming home. Because he, he, the second baseman, tried to field that ball ten okay. feet in front, ten feet in front of the bag. Matt Correa even, stays even alive. Catches, even if he catches it, he doesn't doesn't have a chance to make the out. He tr they're trying to get the runner from third breaking home. <coughs> so they had a play on. The play was on. The play that you never see work. So no, it's, it's true. The oh, there it what is. We're talking here. There Nick. it is. There it is. It's again. Over oh. the fence. Matt Correa. It's two of them. Wow. All right, G Gino, we're, we're going to make this interesting, Gino. <laughs> Gino's not going to like this, but I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to make this interesting, Gino. We're going to say over the fence. So Dennis is still alive with two over the fence. And we're still, we're going to... I don't like this. No, <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> we're going to call off those two, those two other home runs and say two over oh, the fence. Oh, man, that's terrible. We're going to call, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna make Dennis happy and Gino unhappy. <laughs> About time somebody made me happy. <laughs> So that means Dennis is still alive and Dick is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so now the Willows have hit four home runs, two over the fence, and two under the one, fence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven runs to Cine. So we got a 10 to 2 lead for the Willows. That clears the bases. And if we keep we keep this up, we're going to get into the slaughter rule. I think the slaughter rule is what twelve in baseball. I'm not quite sure. Is it? I think so. Maybe that's what they're shooting for. <laughs> so we just need two more over the fence, and that'll make Gino happy. Yeah. Again. Well, I like making Gino happy. You know. <laughs> so the whalers have hit one, two, three, four home runs today. Which is oh, it'll, it'll, probably a, a record. We're going to list them in two categories, too. Over the two fence? Two inside the fence and two over the fence. <laughs> when we started this game, for you people that wonder why we're talking about this, we had three as the over number for home runs in this game. And uh, Dennis was assuming that we meant them all going over the fence. Which, which is a legitimate? I, 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 now, if the wind was blowing a, a different direction, there would be no over the fence. No. I'll tell you one thing. If this, this relief pitcher for the vineyard is, uh, does not have a, uh, a legitimate fastball, uh, and I think we, the Willis might, <laughs> might uh, jump on him a little bit more. He's just uh, sort of keeping the ball in play up there. All right. Nice little curveball there that time. Okay, Nick Cimitaro. Island Lumber, One Popus Road, Go Wheelers, Rain or Shine, Island Lumber's always on time. And remember, Visitor Network, everyone's welcome. 
Nantucket Channel 99. Visit our network streaming 24-7 on smartphones, tablets, and TVs. Check it out. Visit www.viznet.tv. Okay, Nate Leibowitz, who led off the inning with a home run. That seemed like a half a day ago. Yeah. Lots happened. We've got two Lots down, though. Two down. Okay, yeah. So the Whalers have effectively blown this one open in the bottom of the fifth inning. Then there's a pop-up. That's probably going to be a foul ball. Oh, he could have caught it. Though. Third baseman uh, had a hard time locating. He's that wind back is to too much. The, the, wind is, the wind is tough today. He really is. Harbor Fuel Oil Corporation, over 40 years of dependable service, peace of mind, Harbor Fuel. Remember, Harbor Fuel donates uh, scholarships to the girls in the fall and a boy athlete for all three seasons, so somebody on the baseball team could potentially get a scholarship from Harbor Fuel. And that pop up oh, that uh, just get over the uh, fence and it might have conked somebody there. It was probably texting and not watching. Got to watch the game. I think a young lady. She's laughing yeah. about it though, so I maybe it just that. got her on yeah. the backside. So. When well, you're talking about four home runs potentially being a uh, record. If Leibowitz cranks one over the fence there, I know he's going to have a record. Two, two over the fence in one inning. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I believe we up to a full count. For a game that was moving along, now it's sort of inning, slowed down. Slowed down yeah. Well, anytime you send 11 batters, and the 11th batter is coming to the plate now, and another pitcher, they're going to change the pitcher. They're bringing the maybe. right fielder. Maybe, in. maybe, maybe, no, he maybe. Pointed to the right fielder. I saw that. I, you know what they ought to try? Harry. Yeah, <laughs> Harry. He loves pitching. Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun until you get whacked around. <laughs> All right, so now the right fielder comes in, who was originally the first baseman. And the first bit, the pitcher goes to right field. And he was originally the right fielder. So he's back where he started. The pitcher now, number 22, is playing his third position of the uh, inning. Inning. Well, no, the game. He, he started the, well, I guess you're right. Yeah, he started the inning in first base, right? And he moved the right field, third position of the inning. That could be a Vinian record. No, I'm sure probably not. I'll take a short break and be back. Here with uh, two outs and yep. uh, the new pitcher in, third pitcher of the inning. Dylan O'Connor, the batter. And he's up for the second time this inning as the Wills has sent 11 men to the plate so far. And he had a bunt signal last time to get him uh, two RBI. Here he goes, Dick. Running again. I think the wheels are five for five in stolen bases at least. Cardoza is the venue pitcher. He's got a good fastball. That's a nice spot. This guy uh, can throw. Third pitcher of the game for the Vineyard. Wills have scored seven times here in the fifth inning. Dylan O'Connor stays alive. Break open the game. Nantucket scored one in the first, a couple more in the third to make it uh, three to nothing. Vineyard answered with two in the top of the fifth. Looked like it was going to be a ball game, three to two, but now Nantucket has exploded. Struck him out. We've played five. Nantucket ten. Vineyard two. 
Okay, vineyard coming up here in the sixth inning, Dennis. What part of the order of the vineyards? 912. 912. Uh, Ferreira and Gino and the rest of us would like a, uh, a quick inning. You boom, boom, boom. Three up, three down, as the saying goes. Okay, well, Chavez is up for the second time. He's 0 for 1 with, with a K. Ferreira had, had, has eight Ks, six innings. He, he had his only bad inning last inning. Yeah, he was he was sale. Oh, I'm sorry, nine. He has nine Ks. <coughs> he was sailing along, and the fifth inning was a long inning. For, and there's a ground ball. The shot's up. Nice play. Oh no! He got him. He, he turned. He turned. He turned. Safe. Almost, almost got him. And, uh, All right. Sloppy now. Yeah, both teams. Okay, so we got a our first runner on for the vineyard, and we That's have an to, error, wasn't it? That was that would be an error on the on the shortstop. So we're back to the top of the order, Stanton the batter. Ferrer's going to put that Slayton. out of his head, though. Or oh, Slayton, I should say. Yeah. That, that runner on first base means nothing. Yeah, he really doesn't. Just, just, I, I wouldn't even... go after the batters. As you say, he needs six more outs. Six more outs. That's all he needs. Attack this batter, get one of them. Forget about... Ah! Yeah, see, now he's worrying about the runner on first no, I, no, no. That's silly. Yeah, go for the batter. It doesn't matter. His run is not important. Silly, silly, silly. Make believe he's not even there. Conserve your energy. No, here oh, again. This is getting ridiculous. Now it is getting. It's getting ridiculous. And now we get an E2. Gets him a second. If we're still three to two, you can see that going on. Yeah. I was just about to say that the first baseman should have backed off and not even covered him. And then. Catcher throws it into right field, so it takes that off. And there's a ground ball a second, and we've got an out there. There's only five outs that he has to get. Ronda moves to third. Batter's not happy. I don't know what he's expecting. He might have been fooled on that, but he, uh, he's not happy. So we have one out here, runner on third. Runner on third. Sixth inning, wheelers are ahead 10 to 2, force and sixth inning, brought to us by Kong and Coleman Insurance, specializing in personal commercial lines of insurance, auto home, marine business, established 1931 down to 57 Main Street. The pitch gets behind the catcher, but the, the short backstop and the velocity on the pitch, the catcher picks it up very quickly. Yeah. If you can throw a wild pitch, it should be on a fastball <laughs> because... <laughs> and there's a ground ball. A third. Nice play. No. Oh. Another inning. Another error. All of a sudden the wheels... Thank you. ...come unglued here. And the uh, inning should be over. Yeah, the game, the game has really, really gotten sloppy. Wait, how many, do we have what? Two outs? We have one out. One out. There should be three outs. Oh, that, looked, that looked a little low. <coughs> Rondo wants Rondo, to get downtown. Rondo's open up that, open up that strike zone. Nice pitch there, way out in front of it. Seagrow near Tucker's distinctive seafood restaurant for all season. Fresh seafood prepared your way. Lobster, steak, lamb, pasta. The Seagrow open for lunch Monday to Saturday, 11.30 to 2. 
Yes. Oh. Oh. Yes. They got him. That's two. Roberts goes down for the second time. Ninth, tenth strikeout for Will Ferreira. And Boost Club will be meeting this Tuesday night. Remember, Boost Club feeds all the teams. Boost Club will be buying some uh, pizzas today for the vineyard before they get on the boat. And as we mentioned, the uh, you drive Ford next Saturday. Uh, there's a fundraiser for the Boost Club. We go out to the Don Allen Ford, sign a form. Boost Club gets $20 for each person who shows up for the form. And there we go, six yeah. to three. Good. good. So, so we played five and a half, Nantucket 10, Vineyard 3. Okay, Nantucket's uh, up here in the sixth inning. Uh, game uh, sort of had four and a half crisp innings, but an inning and a half of uh, a lot of misplays going on. And uh, what do we have batting for the Whalers? Riley Fazaro up, and he is uh, one for three. Vineyard got one run in the last inning on a couple of Whaler errors, but Will is still enjoying a big 10 to 3 lead. Girls lacrosse game going on behind us and looked up at the score. The uh, Bridgewater Rainham is ahead 5 to 2 over the Whalers. Yeah, that's a big school. Bridgewater Rainham? Yeah. The lacrosse is in a in a tough league. Uh, Bridgewater Rainham is, is tough. Barnstable is tough. Yeah, the, the Vineyard, they're in the, you know, it's, it's lacrosse is sort of a, a new sport, especially on the girls' side. So it's hard to put together leads, and, and they have school, big schools, and little schools. Oh, a shot! Could that it's good. It? That no, nope. nope. gonna no. be caught. Got him right at the right Right at the left field. Didn't have enough height to get up into that wind, Gina. Yeah. Okay, Will Ferreira up, and Will has one has a home run also. Will's one for one, and two walks. And there's a fly ball. That's going to be foul. That went down the hill, way down the hill, and one on one on Will. Island Variety, a source for back to school supplies, potty supplies of all occasion. Tides, Mum's Days around the corner. Mum's Days here actually tomorrow. Island Variety, check it out. If they don't have it, you don't need it. Eats up the second baseman, he recovers all. Four to three, two down. That was a good stop by the second baseman. Yeah, he made a good stop there. And I think that's the best situation for the Wills, get Ferreira back on the bench. Yeah, absolutely. He just needs three more outs. They don't need him running the bases. Right, and Andrew Ray up, and Andrew has uh, uh, reached on two, uh, he's 0 for three. Reached on two errors and flied out to center field. Well, Gino, here's your last chance to get that third one over the fence. And uh, this, this guy could do it. Gets one in the yeah, wheelhouse. Yeah, he's got power. He's got pop. Fooled on that one, though. You're going to get the pitch you want. You can't be fooled on it, that's for sure. If you're going to hit a home run, you don't have no doubt in your swing. You can't have any doubt in your swing. you got to square there's, it up. There's a good one there. Nice swing there. A little bit high. This this young man that came in for the for the vineyard is uh, doing a better got job. Got three outs. Got three outs uh, in a row. Retired the first three he's faced. Yes. They, have, they don't have a limit on how many pitches they can pitch, though, right? No. 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 Ray stays alive. In, in, in major leagues, it, it happens quite often. It's happened this year a couple times with the Red Sox is that you get into an extra inning game and you bring in these specialists that pitch to one or two batters, all of a sudden you're out of pitches. 
and you have to wind up using a position player. Has that happened? Oh, it's happened two or three times this year, yeah. Who, who did they use to pitch? Who did they use this year? Cop. Cop. Cop came in and finished up a game this year. Can he pitch? Well, well he just can. get out there and you throw, you get a... Well, I mean, most, of, most all of, of these them, players... All of them have arms. Yeah, right. Most, most of these players arms. have probably pitched before. Right. Position yeah. players. Yeah. Right. Most, yeah, Dennis is right. Most of these position players probably pitched somewhere in high school or the Little League at least. And then they became such good hitters that they, they got them out of the pitching, you know? That's a strike, I think. No? There you go. I think he went. Look like he did to me. Can we ask? Nope. Go. Go. Sir, can you ask? Yeah, yeah. Okay, they're checking to see if he went on that, and they said no. No waiting for prescription refills. Phone ahead, and we'll have your auto waiting for you to arrive. Nobody does it better. Island Pharmacy. That special number to call? 228-6416. That's a nice low one there, but Rondo wanted this inning over. I wanted this inning over. Thank you, Rondo. All right. Six, it's Nantucket 10, oh, Vineyard 3. Wolf. We are in the seventh inning. Nantucket needs three more outs, Dennis. And who do we have up for the Vineyard? Oh, we have the, the, the pitcher, Cardoza, up, number 22. We have uh, six, seven, eight. So Ferreira trying to finish it out here. The wind is picking up a bit. We still could see another one over the fence. The Vineyard hasn't cranked one over the fence. No, Vineyard has not. Ferreira wants to throw strikes here. Throw, throw strikes. Let him, let him hit it. Couple of them in the dirt here now. Use your defense. No, no, uh, no walks for sure. All right, one more, and that's one out. Warren knows open up that strike zone. We know that. If you walk, Dennis, you're gonna have to really be in the dirt. Yeah, or a high, way up. There it is. Oh, there it is. All right. right, that's nice. okay. That was a nice fat pitch, but uh, that's okay. Gotta get it on. Because you're always thinking double play anyway, aren't you, Dennis? Yeah. You're, you're, all he needs to do is get. They need to get an out. <coughs> you gotta get him swinging. Yeah. You got and, and putting I the ball in play. You looking to get one out. I would not have the first baseman holding. I'd have the first baseman back. It doesn't matter whether he steals or not. All you, all you always tell your players is make sure you get an out. Know where you're going to go with the ball if it comes to you. In this first, uh, the runner on first is not going to be stealing. No, not with what, seven run deficit? Not seven run deficit. Two strikes on the batter. <coughs> in the last three innings, the Vineyards put the ball in play quite a bit. So in the first few innings, they didn't put the ball in play at all. Right. Again, Ferreira opened up the game, retiring the first 12 batters. Perfect game for four innings. Got him. All right, there's one. That ball hit the dirt, but he didn't have to make the throw because the first base was occupied. So one out, two more to go. That's the 11th strikeout for Ferreira. 11 strikeouts brought to us by Hingham Saving Bank. Neighbors Helping Neighbors is the cornerstone of success within the community we serve. We've had the privilege of providing banking services to mass communities for more than 175 years, now on Main Street, Nantucket. <coughs> Gallagher up for the... Uh Vineyard, the right fielder. Looking to throw strikes is Ferreira. And there's two. There we go. 12 strikeouts for Ferreira. 
So Ferrer coming back strong here in the late innings. Yeah. Don Allen Auto Service, new and used vehicles on sale at Don Allen. I think we got a pinch hitter up here. Number 11, looks like Carpenter. Or Coaches have notoriously the worst writing going, me included. <laughs> well, it's a tough, tough situation to put Carpenter in there, throwing him up here after sitting on the bench for uh, the last two hours. Herrera trying to strike out the side here to end this one. The runner is gone. Well, well why? It's kind of crazy. Are they going to throw it through? Safe. Oh. Close. Close. That could have been it. That would have been embarrassing if he was thrown yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Really embarrassing would. if he was thrown out. Yep. Thank God he stole the base. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that kid went on his own or not, but not what you want to do. No. Two outs, runner on second, the Nantucket enjoying a 10-3 lead, sitting at a 7-2, so this will jump them to 8-2 if the, the wheels come off the wagons here. And all of a sudden the vineyard bench has become animated. Yeah. I don't know if they're excited about the game or they're excited about they're gonna get down to the boat and get on time. <laughs> yeah. well, they might be thinking pizza too. I don't know what maybe they maybe they heard the pizza was on the way. I something got them excited. The first time they've been uh, riled up here. Here we are in the seventh inning. That's it. Two and two. Two and two, I'm sorry. I missed the strike in there. Relax, Dick. I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited here. <laughs> <laughs> Vineyard Bay, it would be a nice win over the Vineyard. Vineyard's, uh, in, in years, have, they've had a very, very good baseball program. And oh, they yeah, play any, a tough competition. Yeah, anytime you can beat a school bigger than you. Yeah. You know, Vineyard. Tough competition. Whether we want to admit it or not, is bigger than the Antarctic. Right? Way big. And uh, we, we see that in all sports, but... Uh, Anytime. Just, we have to qualify this as a quality victory. Quality victory, right. Yeah. But anytime, you know, the field hockey team plays the Vineyard, you know, uh, basketball team once in a while was played. And anytime we play the Vineyard in any sport, we get excited. We, and certainly, we know that from football. And we know how hard it is to beat them in football. There it is. Yeah. 13 strikeouts. So unlucky 13, but 13 strikeouts for Rare. It's lucky today as Nantucket uh, gets a 10 to 3 victory. And uh, Gino wins the pool. The over and under was four home runs. Dennis is upset because <laughs> Dennis thinks he won the pool because only two of those went over the fence. So I'll let you both win. I'll, I'll take a step back. Gino wins oh. the over and under with four. Dennis wins the over the fence with two. Poor Dickie is the only loser here today in the booth. Don't worry. If there was something on the line, Dickie would be a winner. 